the resale prices track another dip in the month of July. Is this something to worry? In the recent article, it is confirmed that the condo resale prices continue to soften, but the volume rises slightly. What does that mean for you and I as a potential home buyers or potential home sellers? And also, how does it impact the real estate market moving forward? If we zoom out the timeline in the span of 10, 20 years, you see that the overall price trend of real estate market is a gradual upward growth. However, when you zoom in into the later cycles in between, there will always be mini ups and mini downs in between. Now, we are experiencing what I call a stabilizing phase whereby buyers are potentially pulling back their purchases and slowly adopting a wait and see approach. And what does that mean to a home seller today is that if let's say we are still trying to break the record price, it is not likely to happen in terms of probability. Disclaimer, of course, this does not apply to all areas or projects. So do check if you want to confirm. In this period of time, it is what I would like to call a rubber band effect where it is now going through a pullback period. Of course, the longer the pullback, when it's released, it's going to shoot up higher and faster depending on how depressed or how suppressed the demand is. Fundamentally, the Singapore market is still strong in terms of the household wealth versus debt ratio as well as the employment rate is still remaining strong. I do not foresee there's going to be large discounts coming up and unless people are experiencing massive layoff. This situation could typically last about 6 to 9 months before we experience another market shift. So general advice to potential home buyers if let's say you are shopping around for your new homes, it is always good to check for the latest live transactions before you make an offer or make a purchase. Most seasoned players will have some tools to capture the live data from their companies. And today if you are a home seller still trying to break to the cup price, you will have to assess carefully whether it makes sense for your overall housing plans. Once again, this is just a general advice it does not apply blanket in all segments of the real estate market. In a bullish market, it makes sense to price higher as a home seller so that you capture the future price and as a home buyer, you don't mind paying higher because you know that the overall market trend is still going upwards. However, now that we are experiencing a stabilizing phase, it is very important to, it is very important to pay attention to the entry price. Unsure to what to do and unsure of what I am talking about, you know what to do, feel free to reach out to me. Cheers.